Um, looking over this video again, it just kind of fell apart, and I don't really feel like redoing it. So, I'm just gonna release it. Hopefully future videos will be better. And I will improve with more practice, since this is just kind of a new type of video for me to be, to be making. So, enjoy! Hello! James Yvonne here. As you all know, I have decided to try to start a journey as an indie developer and drop the concept trailer for the game I want to make. And by the way, thank you all so much for your positive feedback. It meant way more to me than you know. Now, why do I even want to make an indie game? Well, the answer to this is very simple. I'm an idiot. <laughs> but if you want a different answer than that, maybe it's because I want to show the world what I'm truly capable of. I mean, my viewers already know that I'm a decent animator and storyteller, but honestly, I can do anything that I put my mind to. So, I also want to learn code on top of all that I currently know. Because if so many other people can code, why can't I? There's a reason why you can't. So, I said I'd talk more about my game later, well, guess what? It's later. Now, I guess the first place I should start talking about would be the themes that have inspired it. I listed Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Undertale as the main inspirations, but I did say that there were many other inspirations, and I mean many other inspirations. It would really be annoying if I listed them all in a single presentation. But two more inspirations for it are Earthbound and The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Because everything cool is inspired by Earthbound nowadays. And Majora's Mask is a classic as well. And it's dark. And you know how I like my coffee. And also, for some reason, the editor screwed up my script and that's not what I originally wrote. Alright, now for the theme that I find most important in a game other than the actual gameplay, in case you forgot it was supposed to be there, is the story. Twelve Slot Saloon's story is about someone who was dragged into the soulless desert, and in order to return to his home world, he must obtain a soul. Now, I'm taking a lot of inspiration with Majora's Mask whenever it comes to the story, along with some inspiration from Undertale, specifically how you can take multiple routes. Like, I want to have a kill and mercy system like Undertale had, that could lead to multiple endings. And I also want to have a side quest system like Majora's Mask has, but make all the quests have a good and bad ending like some of the events in the game had. And it'll also give me a chance to write some really twisted endings. The side quest will also affect how it all ends. Whenever it comes to the art style of 12 Slot Saloon, I am basing it off of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon and Earthbound. Like, as you can tell so far, the characters have the same black outline and shadow that the Mystery Dungeon games have, but unlike other RPGs, I don't really have the character sprites the exact same size. And that's mainly because of two of the characters, Samuel and Samantha. I really wanted to clearly show just how giant Samuel was compared to the other characters, and how small Samantha was compared to her husband. As for the backgrounds, I'm taking more inspiration from Earthbound, because I really like the way the backgrounds look. It just has such a charm to them. And I'm also having to adapt them to the size of the characters, so the environment will appear a lot more huge compared to most RPGs. As for gameplay, I was thinking Undertale with guns. Just a very simple turn-based combat with a little mini-game where you avoid your opponent's attack. And I'm doing it like that since it seems like it'll be the most fun to play while remaining simple to code, because my coding skills are kind of like my Amana's fits. Also you get a gun. I have a great idea for how it'll look visually, but like, I'll probably talk more about it at a later time whenever I actually have something to show off. And last but not least, the save system. This will be a major part of the story, so I can't really say too much. What if you can manipulate time to get the perfect ending you want? From what I played of Undertale, it kind of did this. I have not completed the genocide route, don't spoil it for me. But 
I feel like I could have done a better job of enforcing this throughout the game, instead of just in the beginning and in the end. So, I really want to enforce it throughout the entire game, and give multiple save slots so you don't overwrite a save you might want to go back to later. And also, I have a few more crazy ideas of how to use them, but I'll save that for later as well. See what I did there? I'm so funny. Laugh. And if you made it this far, you just sat for me rambling about my game for maybe five minutes or so. Are you proud of yourself? I'm not. But this project will be truly something if I can finish it. And I intend on it. I'll just have to keep going. And also I'll be posting devlogs every one to two weeks. So be on the lookout for my suffering. Until next time, take care. Thank you.